Today I'm going to show you a new way that you can use to drive traffic to your website. This is using videos from TikTok using the split screen effect. This is something that I'm not seeing so many people doing and these are people who are getting views. These are some channels that I'm going to show you. This one is called Real Time Podcast Clips. They're using this strategy and this video has got over 126k likes. So it's basically a podcast at the top and the video below is the one that you use to capture attention because what people have realized is most people don't really have a high retention rate. Okay, People tend to lose attention very quickly. So what these accounts are trying to do now is to retain people with these videos. Okay, The videos at the bottom. Okay? Because podcasts can actually be boring. People can actually fall asleep. But if you have a visual, a visual video like this one, you can actually retain them. Another channel is this one here. Okay, Another account. Now this one is called La Cotorisa. They're doing a very similar thing where they have a podcast at the top. And they have a video at the bottom. Now this one is more of a video of someone cleaning a carpet. As you can see, this one here was a video of someone playing a video game. This one here is for someone cleaning a carpet. This one's also work well, whereby people are curious to see how this guy is going to clean a very dirty carpet. Okay, so this one has over 796k likes. Another channel is this one here, or another TikTok account. This one's called Pure Podcast. Now, with this video, they have 1.3 million likes. Okay, very similar. A podcast at the top and an attention grabbing video at the bottom. Okay, so this one here is someone cutting soap. As you can see, it's kind of very curious. This is a very curious video, especially this one here and this one here. Okay, these are curious videos. I can call them curious video, but a visual video would be this one here, a video game. Okay, so this is some of the ways that you can actually drive traffic to your website and even make money with affiliate marketing using this strategy okay so that is what i'm going to be showing you in this video and if you want to watch more videos like this more affiliate marketing tutorials like this and how to drive traffic to your website please leave a like subscribe to the channel if you haven't and turn on notifications so that you don't miss any of my videos that being said let's get started so first we're going to look for our videos okay now the video at the top as i said earlier you want to use a podcast okay the one at the top you want to use a podcast and the video at the bottom you want to use a video that's related to what it is that you're promoting on your website okay or what it is that you're actually promoting on your tiktok account okay now the type of podcast video that you can use are motivational videos okay so you can come up over here and type motivation now you can find videos here from this channel, from this account, which is called Motivation. They have 4.2 million followers. Now don't worry, we'll use their videos, but we will pay credit uh, in the description or rather in the captions. Okay, so there are different videos here that you can use. There are lots of these videos over here that you can use. So for example, I'm going to go with this one here. I can just right click. Okay, this one is not really a podcast. Uh, let me look for a podcast. Now it doesn't actually have to be a podcast, but let me just go with a podcast video for this example. For example, this one here. Okay, now I can just copy this link. Just copy the link and then I'll go to this website called SSTIC. That's SSSTIC.io. This is a website that allows you to download TikTok videos. Okay, so just paste the link there and then click on download. And then download without a watermark. Or you can download with a watermark. All right, so once that is downloaded, you now want to come over to Canva. Okay, that's Canva.com. Here, you're just going to search for mobile video. Okay, I already had it searched over here, so I'll just click on mobile video, which will now take you to this page. So here's where you're going to upload that video. So we can just drag our video over here. All right, so now we just want to fix it up over here at the top. Okay, so just, just like that. Okay, so now we have our motivation video, and then over here, we're going to have a different video. Now here at the bottom, you can have your product video, you can have a gaming video, but what you really want to have here is a, is a product video okay so let's say you're promoting something on amazon okay amazon tends to have uh, videos on their products so you can go over to amazon okay and uh, let's look for a product over here uh, most likely a gadget okay and let's type gadget and i found one over here so this one looks like it's a web launcher string like a spider-man kind of uh, gadget so i can open this and as you can see over here at the bottom you can see there's a video okay so you can open this video after receiving the goods there is a transmitter body. There's a clip wire that's already worn inside. Then there is a window. There is a bullet. So it's basically demonstrating, uh, showing all the parts of the of the of the gadget. Like this. Okay. Let me just forward it. So it's actually also showing you how you can how you can wear it. 
first put the transmitter body okay and how you can actually use it so this is a video that you want to download you can just right click now sometimes it will allow you to download you're going to see this is activated but this one here is deactivated so you can't really download it directly from here so what you want to do you want to have an alternative you can use an extension like this one here this is called video downloader plus okay i have this extension it's an extension that you can find from google chrome store so just download it once you've downloaded it you can just click on it and it's going to give you different links that you can download it from so i'm just going to go with um uh, this one here okay and then i will just right click and click on download and there we go so it's been downloaded so you can come back over here to, uh, to canva let's drag our video down over here okay and let's have it let's have it over here all right so now you have both videos now you can play both of them and you can also play this okay so this one should loop once you click on that okay and then you also have this one here this here is fake money okay so what you want to do is mute this one here okay you want to mute this one at the bottom so just right click that and click on this volume over here and click on mute okay so now when you play it as you can see there's no sound but this one here i would never work for this stuff. okay that one has that one has sound now since you have a product over here you want to place a call to action text okay so that you can let people know that you have this product you're actually selling this gadget over here at the bottom okay so you can place a um like a permanent text maybe from the beginning just uh, playing throughout the video or maybe you can place it at the text i recommend playing um including it from the beginning of the video so you can grab some text over here okay let's go with this one here all right so i'll just make it smaller okay and yeah, let's go change the color to maybe something that's more visible let me change the effects and then maybe give it black okay so i can just highlight this and just say click link in bio to get gadget all right so let's begin playing it from the beginning okay so as you can see it's permanent all right it's playing throughout the video and we also have it being demonstrated in the video so this is good this is something that you want to have maybe you can make it a little bit smaller i think it's uh the text is a little bit too big maybe you can you can shrink it down a little bit okay so there we go so now all you want to do is just download it now so you just click on share and click on download and click on download again from here now once you have it downloaded we are now going to upload it on our tiktok account okay so just click on upload over here just make sure you have an account make sure you of course you need to have an, a tiktok account so make sure you have that so we can now drag our video that you just downloaded from here let's click up over here and drag it over there and there you go so you have your video over here now you can enter a caption now you don't have to think too hard about the caption you can just enter maybe something like do you agree with uh, kiyosaki or maybe you can say something like robert kiyosaki podcast robert kiyosaki is the guy talking he's a very famous guy so you can say robert uh kiyosaki i'm not really sure how to spell this okay i'm sure i'm butchering the name but uh i think it's kiyo kiyosaki okay hopefully there's a name so you can say maybe kiyosaki podcast or interview okay interview okay or if you want to put the product you can put the the product of the name if you want okay because if you come to these other channels as you can see very uh, short uh, captions so like m carries full story uh m carry i'm guessing is this woman here this if you come over here you can see la costa i think this is a uh, spanish i'm not really i don't really know what they're saying here uh but if you come to this one here it's just saying do you agree okay maybe it's misspelled over here but basically saying do you agree so you just we just want to keep it simple okay most people don't even read the captions so you can just keep it as short as possible and then now you can go ahead and add your tags okay maybe you can say uh robert yo yosaki okay uh maybe you can say interview or podcast podcast okay there you go you can add i think he's talking about money so maybe you can say money okay something like that all right you can go ahead and add more hashtags if you want but i'm going to leave it like that and once you're done you can now scroll down over here and click on post now if it's a new account uh, you won't be able to actually include the link of 
the product okay remember with tiktok you need to have at least a thousand followers to be able to actually include links in the bio if you come back over here you can see if you go to the account over here this is what i'm talking about okay you need to have at least a thousand followers to be able to include a link but it's very easy to grow on tiktok you can actually just start uploading these videos consistently and you're going to start seeing your numbers growing really really fast so long as you're consistently uploading these viral videos okay you can do it maybe twice a, uh, twice a day you can do it maybe three times a day but every day just make sure you upload a video okay that is how fast you're going to grow on tiktok or another way that you can do it for the time being you can just come back over here okay now instead of including this link in bio you can actually change it and include your website name okay your website domain so let me try and see if i can move this up over here yeah, so what you can do maybe you can plus you can place your link the link to your website www dot whatever it is which will bring me now to my next step so you want to create a website okay you can come to this website okay this is called payhip it is a website builder that allows you to create free websites okay they're literally free websites that you can create and it allows you to sell digital products like ebooks you can sell gadgets you can sell online courses coaching memberships physical products as well which is what we're going to be doing here you can also sell affiliate products okay so you can just come up over here completely free like i said enter your email address and then click on get started for free once you've entered your email address you're going to uh, enter your first name and your last name you're going to enter your email address over here but it should be populated and then you can create a password okay once you've done that you're going to click on create account and then here they're going to ask you to tell them about yourself you're pretty much going to enter your store name over here and this is the one that's going to be displayed on your store so you can say um so for me i can say maybe something like gadgets hello and i'll hit continue so they're going to ask you to confirm your name this is going to be the link to your website okay so i'm just going to click on get started selling and then now here is where you can start building your website so you have different steps so the first one you have add your product your first product set up your checkout and then customize your store design now before you use any of this you're going to have to create a product okay you're going to add rather your product so click on add product first and then click on add product okay and as you can see they have different products that you can sell over here digital courses memberships physical products coaching and a bundle so for here at uh, this example you can click on physical product here they're going to ask you to confirm units so which units would you like to use first of all they have pounds or inches they have kilograms or centimeters now i use kilograms so i'm going to click on save unit with kilograms so here they're going to ask you to add a new physical product you can enter the title of the product over here so here on amazon this is a web launcher i just call this web launcher a string shooter story whatever okay come back over here and then i paste the name there here we're going to enter the cost of the product okay you can come over here you can see this is 19 dollars okay now you are going to of course increase the price so that you make uh you make a profit so if it's 19 dollars here we can say here uh maybe 25 okay 25 dollars and then down here we can enter the product image okay we can come back again over here just refer to amazon they actually have images over here I can just open this and then I just save the image right there. Click on save. Okay. Come back up over here. Now we can drag this image. And now we can click on upload a product image. Go to our downloads. Okay. So we have the product, the image over here. Now we can come down over here. We have a description. We can enter the product description. We can just use the same product description from uh, Amazon. We can just copy this. Maybe you can change it just a little bit. Actually, I recommend you change it okay because you don't want to have anything looking exactly like amazon and then here we have now the additional details like product sku so this is an optional but if you have multiple products that you want to sell and you've actually started a business you want to actually add uh, the sku so you can add maybe like the first one if it's the first one you can say 001 okay this will be products that are under 100 products now if you have products maybe over a thousand or under a thousand okay you're going to increase this number to four digits okay for me i'm just going to have it actually zero one because i intend to have just 10 maybe 10 items in my website and then here we can enter the weight let's come back up over here you can see the weight of this this should be something very small maybe 
Now let's see. Item weight 3.84 ounces. Let me see how many this is in kgs. So in kgs or grams is 108. Okay, so I'll come over here and then I'll, I'll just say 108. Okay, actually, that'll be zero. Okay, 0 0.108 grams. So you can also add things like track product inventory. This product has different variations, size, color type. Now, if it has, let me see if this one has, I don't think it has like variations. Okay, it actually has this uh, black, there's a black one, there's a red one, and there's a white one. Okay, so we can actually add that. Uh, let's come over here. We can enter that. You can add your variations over here. So for example, this is going to be color. This will be the variation type. You can, uh, sorry, you can enter color. And then here we can enter the choices. Okay, we have red. We have red, black, and white. Okay, so these are, the, uh, these are the product variations. Now you can click on add product option. Okay, so now they can actually choose from here. And then down here we have, uh, here it says visibility. Should your store visitors be able to see the product? Of course, you're going to leave it visible. Here we have advanced options. So this one you don't really need for now. This is the product tax is exempt. Automatically subscribe customers to mailing list. This is if you have a mailing list. Yeah, for now, we are not going to use advanced options. Now we can click on add product. Then once you're done, you can click on show me my product page. And as you can see, we have the product over here. So we have the product name here. We have the price here. Okay, it should have the price here. I forgot to actually include the price for each of these. Okay, that is something that we forgot because what we included was the price for just the single product itself without the variations. Okay, so that is why it's saying uh, zero dollars. But you can see you can also add quantities. If they want to add more multiple quantities, they can do that. Let's come back to our product and edit. Let me go back. Let's come back over here. Uh, click on this variations checkbox. You can add variations. Okay, so we said color, uh, red, black, and white. Okay, now I'm going to click on add product option. And then down here we have them. So what we're going to do, we're going to click on manage combinations. And we can enter now our prices over here. Okay, so just $25 for each of them. Okay. And we can also enter SKU. So 0, 01, 0, 02, and 0, 03. Right. Here we can enter the weight. So we said it was 0 0.108. Okay, I'm just going to copy this and paste all of them there. Click on apply changes. Okay, so now we have our prices okay, for each of them, for each color. Now we can come down here, click on add product. And okay, now we can click on show me my product page. And now as you can see, we have the product price over here. Okay, and then down here, as you can see, it says seller is unable to receive payment since their PayPal or Stripe account has not yet been connected. Now what you want to do, you want to actually connect it to your PayPal account. Okay, if you have a PayPal account, you can connect it. If you have a Stripe account, you can connect it okay so to do that you can just click on paypal over here which will take you to the link paypal account so you can actually link it here this is going to direct you to your paypal account and paypal is going to ask you to confirm this website once you've confirmed this website it's now going to be linked and it's going to look something like this okay you'll have a download button here or a buy now button here and at the top over here you'll have a add to uh, add to cut okay so that is pretty much how you can add a product to your website okay to your pay heap website now if you go back to your dashboard over here okay now you can see we've added our first product i also showed you how to set up a checkout account you can also do that and then now we're going to customize our store design okay so we click on customize design and here's where you can customize your website now as you can see it's very plain and simple what you have here is just the product itself you have the header here which has your website name you have your menus over here or your pages right now you just have shop and contact you have the search you have your profile, you have the item checkout, and then here you have the about me. All this can be customized and you can add more items. So first what you want to do is edit your header by editing this section over here. Just click on header. Okay, you can change your store logo by clicking on this. Okay, if you want to change it, if you want to change the title name, you can change it from here. If you want to enter a store logo, you can click on this and upload an image maybe that you've downloaded for, or, if, or, or if you have a logo that you've created, you can upload it from here. You can also even use their free images. So maybe I can type over here gadgets. And as you can see, you'll see different gadgets over here. But what I would like to use 
is a vector image of gadget okay so i can i can just go to google okay i just search for gadgets in google i go to images yeah okay, click on tools over here click on type click on uh, clip art okay click cut also vectors and then you can use any image over here okay i'm just going to use one quickly as an example um let me go with this one here and then i'll just save it now i can come back over here and click on upload and i'll just select that image and this is how it's going to look like as you can see it's pretty small it doesn't really show well uh, maybe it's the size of the image that i used but this is how you can actually use an image instead of a text and i'm just going to cancel this and i'm going to use uh, i'm going to use the text i'm just going to leave it like that and then i'll just click on discard changes okay now you can change also your navigation links which are up over here I click on navigation links okay click on edit navigation links so you can edit the shop and you can also edit the contact navigation link or pages i can also go ahead and add a link if you want to add a link you can go ahead and do that maybe you want to add a blog okay just click on blog over here and then here's where you're going to enter the link to your blog okay if you click on this it's going to show you different links there's a products collection custom blogs okay they already have a blog section so you can also link that blog post home page search page but you can't actually use any of these because there's nothing that you've really added here the only thing that we've added is a product that is the only link that we can add over here but since we don't have any blogs we can't really add any blogs over here okay so you can cancel that but that is pretty much how you would add menus or navigation links they call them here navigation links okay you can even edit them for example if you want to edit your contact or your shop you can click on this and you can change the name okay maybe you can call this web launcher okay since we're selling just a single product and then now you can click on edit edit navigation link and there you go so we have that edited over there and if they click on this it will take them directly to this page over here okay so that is how you can edit and add pages or links go back over here and then you have also a header settings you can change your header settings for this one here you can change the layout so if you want to change the layout you can click on change the header layout this one just basically show you if you want to have the logo on your left and your menus at, at on your right your logo on your left and menu also on your left here you have your logo on your left you have your menu at the center just different layouts okay so i know you get the picture and then here we have advanced settings you can change the header width these are settings that you can actually play around with later for now all you need to know is just how to edit the header edit this section over here so let's discard this change and now let's come over here to this section over here so this section is the collection okay if you click on collection you can see you can do things like reorder products now if you have multiple products you can reorder them from here you can change the aspect ratio okay they have different aspect ratios you can uh, choose to adapt you can have square you can have standard okay as you can see it changes you can have it as maybe standard vertical okay the different aspect ratios i'm just going to leave it at uh, at adapt and then you can also show price you can choose to show price if you want to show price if you don't want to show price you can do that number of columns you can also select number of columns that is if you have multiple products spacing as well now let's come back over here let's discard changes let's go back to the about me now you can also change the about me over here to change your about me you can just come up over here click on this section okay now you can change your image you can place your image if you want by clicking on replace or you can remove this image or you can just place an image of your website okay you don't actually have to place your own image you can place an image of your website so to do that you can click on replace let's just use this image over here click on choose that image so you'll have your website name here so here you can say instead of about me you can say about about gadgets galo okay so about gadgets galo okay about gadgets galo and then down here you can see a description you can change your description over here so here you can say all right so what i've just said here i've changed it i've said welcome to gadgets galo here you will find high quality and innovative gadgets that you can use as daily items at home or as toys for you or your kids all at affordable prices okay so you can go ahead and change that and then here you have a link so you can include this maybe to you link to your social accounts or you can just do away with it and delete it okay so that is how you can easily create a website now i'm going to be doing this in detail i'm going to be showing you how to actually create an entire website using payhip in detail and i'm going to do it on a webinar i'm going to hold that webinar on march the 4th okay that's march the 4th on monday 
and I'm going to do a detailed tutorial on how you can build a website like this. I'm going to show you how to set it up to look something like this. This is a website that I created using PayHub where you can be able to place blog posts. I'm going to show you how to place a blog post on your homepage, how to link them to the full blog post. You can place a recommended tool section here. So this will be now your recommended products. You can have many products here. And then your about me section, I've just showed you how to do that. And I'm also going to show you how you can promote different kinds of products, affiliate products, digital products, ebooks, and how you can do email marketing to get more clients to your website. Okay. So all I'll need you to do to get into the webinar, I'll need you to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and use the link in the description to sign up. Okay. I've left a link in the description. That is a sign up page to pay hip. Make sure to use that link and sign up with that link so that when you join the webinar, it will be easy for you now to follow through the steps. Okay. So again, the link in the description, make sure you sign up that link, like this video, subscribe to the channel. And once you've done that, I want you to send me an email telling me that you've liked the video, that you've subscribed to the channel and you have signed up with the pay hip sign up link in the description so that I can be able to add you in the webinar. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this video. Thanks for watching and see you on the next one.